A very good day to you all and welcome to the session of virtual classes of science Share on moment of inertia. The most easier concept which you can understand if you learn the rotational dynamics in a very smart manner. I advise all of you to refer the previous video which we have done on rotation and torque and the first session you can see a flow chart in which I have given all the repetition or the duplication of physical quantities in rotational dynamics and I always advise the students to keep screenshots of that kind of picture when they are studying any aspects of physics even if it is translation or rotation you keep that screenshot because all the quantities will be there in your mind when you are learning the particular parameters of corresponding mechanics. So here we are doing the rotational dynamics and we have already done the torque concept in detail in the last two videos. One is rotation and torque and the other is torque and angular momentum. And here we are going to extend our studies of torque using the concept of moment of inertia or we are going to understand what is moment of inertia. So I request all of you to see the previous two videos on rotation so that this session will be very easy for you. Okay, so let us start with the virtual class to understand the concept of moment of inertia by starting from the concept of torque. So in the last two sessions we have seen the two analogous parameters of rotation that is the quantity analogous to force that is torque which is defined as dl by dt or r cross f the torque is called as moment of the force and we are already got angular moment as moment of momentum moment of momentum. Now let us see how we can get an analogous quantity for the mass which is called as moment of inertia or rotational inertia. You already know that in translation the mass represents the amount of inertia. So in rotation also there should be a quantity which is representing rotational inertia. So how we can define rotational inertia? Inertia we have defined in translation as the inherent ability or the property of a particle or a system by virtue of which it opposes or tends to oppose the change, the state of rest or motion along a straight line with uniform velocity unless it is acted by an external force. So here I will treat, take the concept same manner. So the rotational inertia I will define it as what? It is a property by virtue of which the property by virtue of which a system or a particle opposes the state of rest. State of rest means in angular terms state of rest means omega is equal to 0 or rotation with, with a constant angular velocity omega is equal to 0 or omega equal to constant unless and otherwise it is acted by an unbalanced external torque unless it is acted by unbalanced external torque that means if net torque is not equal to 0 okay so we can say the first law of Newton. This is actually defining the first law of Newton in rotational dynamics. I will, I will make it simplified as this. If you want an angular acceleration, that means if alpha is equal to not, not equal to zero, tau net should not be equal to zero. Just like in the first translation I have defined, if A is not equal to zero, F net should not be equal to zero. F net should not be equal to 0. 
what does this mean alpha not equal to 0 means there is an angular acceleration there is an angular acceleration what is angular acceleration means angular acceleration means alpha is not equal to 0 or not equal to constant it is continuously changing when it will change when there is a net torque okay so what is moment of inertia it's the property by virtue of which a body tends to remain in these two states unless tow net is not equal to zero okay correct so if a body has got that kind of a property let us try to find out the expression for the moment of inertia for different types of systems so moment of inertia of an object or rotational inertia of an object is the property by which, which the body tends to remain with a constant angular velocity unless it is affected by an external and balanced torque. Okay. So let us start from the torque itself. We have torque defined as R cross F. Like always, I will try to start from the basic system that is a single particle, a single particle. A single particle. Say a single particle is revolving about an axis. Say the particle's mass is equal to m. The radius of the circle is equal to r. It has got a tran tangential velocity, say vt, and it has got an angular velocity, omega. This is our system. So, radius is having the radial direction, velocity is tangential direction. Okay. Now, let there be a force acting along the tangential direction. That means I am applying a force in the tangential direction, f. That means there will be a tangential acceleration associated. If there is a tangential acceleration associated, we know that tangential acceleration is related to angular acceleration as alpha cross r. If at is not equal to 0, then alpha is also not equal to 0. That means there is an angular acceleration along the axis. This all concept we have seen in the case of circular motion. You must be remembering. So let us try to write an expression for the torque acting with respect to the O on the particle M. What is the torque acting? We know torque is equal to R cross F. In this case, R and F are making 90 degree. Theta is equal to 90 degree. So R cross F can simply be written as R F and the mass of the particle is M and its tangential acceleration is AT. So the F can be written as M into AT. So this becomes R M A T. And what is AT? AT is alpha cross R. Alpha and R is also making 90 degrees. So, AT becomes R into alpha or alpha into R. RM alpha R. This can be written as M R square into alpha. Look at this. This is a very simple expression for you to understand because the torque is equal to a quantity multiplied by acceleration. This is quite similar to F is equal to MA in translation. Torque is equal to acceleration into a quantity. Force is equal to acceleration into a quantity. So this quantity represents analogous parameter of mass in rotation. This quantity represents analogous quantity of mass in rotation. This is called as what? This is called as the moment of inertia or rotational inertia and that is represented with a symbol I. I is equal to M into R squared. For a single particle, moment of inertia is equal to M into R squared. Where M is the mass of the particle 
and r is the distance to the particle from the axis of rotation. So we got the expression for moment of inertia in term from starting from tau. So what can be written? So tau can be written as this expression can be written as what? Torque is equal to I into alpha just like F is equal to mass into acceleration where I is equal to M R square. You need to feed that one before you extend your studies to systems of particles because this is the simplest example of a single particle. So I hope that was quite easy for you to understand the concept of moment of inertia starting from the definition of the torque, starting from the definition of the torque. What we have done is we have taken the case of a single particle rotating about an axis and we got the expression for i is equal to m r square and we got similar expression for f is equal to m a in rotation. So this is the way to find the relationship between torque and moment of inertia. And this is the same answer for derivation of tau is equal to i alpha. Or this is the same answer for derivation of moment of inertia of a single particle. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much.